at the storage unit on a Sunday afternoon. We want to thank everybody coming out to our whatnot auction on Saturday night. It was awesome. Uh, really good time. A lot of people showed up. I think like over 100 people the entire time. We always have our whatnot auctions at 6 p.m. every sun Saturday unless we're out of town or we mm -hmm. state that we're not going to do one. The day before Easter, we're not going to do one, but then we'll have a whole bunch on the next uh, month. But we're going to go ahead. We're fresh out of Uggs. This is the last Uggs to sell from the uh, Peaches to Beaches. They sold for $28 plus shipping. A pair of Beretta Field Pants. These would, these would have went for more money, but they were a size small, which is kind of hard to sell bigger sizes are easier to sell online $24 still that's pretty good for a pair of field pants from Beretta uh an Uzi sold not real by the company Empire made in the United States toys kids toys uh Uzi $19 plus shipping on shirt. that one matches my shirt you can blend in we got this out of a storage unit this is a in-care um hospital bed supply module so it does work. I was able to uh, plug it in and make sure that it did work. $75 for this. And we also had the remote that we didn't show when we were doing the actual storage unit on the Beard Thrift Machine channel. And this remote is listed for 150 bucks. So when you're out there and about, you see those things at yard sales and stuff, um, these modules are very expensive because they stop working. And then instead of buying the entire hospital pet up again or whatever, or they get lost, people are going on to um, eBay to buy them. The, this, I know this is hard to see, but this is the Nick Knack jewelry box that we picked up at Peaches to Beaches. You actually picked it up for like a dollar or two. Mm -hmm. It's over $49.50, which is a really good deal. Uh, Kiss Alive 2 music book sold for 20 bucks plus shipping. A Seagull pin sold for $4.50 plus shipping. And then an Adam's Idea A3 hybrid pitching wedge. So for $15.50, that's not too bad. It is a slower Sunday sales. This is everything we sold actually on today. Uh, so it's not a whole bunch. But it also is because we didn't list a whole bunch in the last three days. Once we're listing, we sell a lot. If we stop listing for two or three days, it drops off dramatically. So what we're going to do is pack this stuff up, ship it out, ship everybody's whatnot stuff out. Also remember, we do have our website that you have a whole bunch of new pot charms on that. They sold out really really fast before you got a whole bunch i think even some of those have sold mm -hmm. the link will be down in the comment section so we are out at our booth at the bounty hunters emporium we haven't been showing this uh place a lot on this channel i don't really know why i think i actually just forget but uh, we have our new tags in so the way they do it is you have to send in your stuff and then they print out the tags and here are all of our tagged individual stuff right so we're gonna go put that in the booth that, is that your tiki guy yeah. That's a pretty cool tiki guy. We've been doing actually pretty good in sales. I think we've been selling like maybe 20 or 30 items uh, a, a, a month, which is pretty good for us. We're gonna go in here, fill the booth up. We'll show you guys the booth, the setups that we did where we wanna improve, and uh, maybe some tips and tricks that we've learned so far. And uh, let's go see if anything else sold. So now we have the booth restocked, and a lot of people said that our beard was too big, but that's gotta stay. Uh, but we have noticed that as much as you can pack in here is the way to go. We did add the two little shelves over there. I'll go ahead and show some of the merch that we have here in a second. We do need more mugs. Our mugs are sold out basically, except for the white mug right there. But we're gonna, um, that was about it. I mean, Kayla's made these things right here. She actually painted these and she has our little initials on the bottom of KZ. Check that out, very cool. We got our merch right here too. Um, and these were actually 3D printed by my brother. And I think we're selling for 10 bucks, 10 bucks in the booth. Very cool, there's little magnets, we got our koozies, we got our map. This is the uh, update on the map. Basically all the United States has uh, been here. And we're trying to actually find a cork globe to put in here because people said, hey, what happens if I come from Australia or England? Where we're going to put a uh, pin at. We're going to work on that. So that ain't too shabby. And then a ton of other stuff. We're finding that the core sells very well. So Kayla does a good job actually making sure that this is stock. But we do want to get two extra shelves here. A shelf here. And then probably a shelf there. Because the more you can pack in, the better. At the storage unit, we got some sales. $27 for some Allen Edmond uh, Sea Island loafers. Pretty good condition. $27 plus shipping on those. Then a little tiny porcelain vintage floral pitcher night light scent tested $15 plus shipping a vineyard vines 
performance polo shirt so for $15 plus shipping we don't really sell a whole bunch of Vineyard Vines stuff like when we were growing up Vineyard Vines was like the thing mm -hmm. I mean if you were very Vineyard Vines you had some coin in your pocket or all your money was in your clothes because it was expensive nowadays Vineyard Vines we pass up on like 99% of Vineyard Vines stuff uh, a charger for the Depot Depot dock $15 plus shipping a uh, this we did sell a USA like leather jacket thing burns me up and this has happened twice so far this week because we've had some like older inventory get some offers like low ball offers like 50 percent 70 for 75 percent off of what it is and I was like you know what I'll take it because it's been sitting for two years whatever get it out of here and then they don't pay it's like I just gave you a smoking deal I think a lot of people would just send ridiculously low offers to see if you'll take it and then then they don't pay hundred dollars for a steel lithium battery charger uh good sale on that one twenty seven dollars for the emmerich kelly jr the teacher signed statue and then we straight up lost an order and this is the danger from cross posting selling on different platforms posting everything on ebay then delisting things to sell at maybe an antique booth Maybe a booth, maybe a yard sale, maybe donations, maybe you sell it on whatnot. Maybe is that, you know, we come in here and most everything gets listed on eBay first, uh, other than the stuff that we specifically bought for whatnot. So that goes in a different pile. Then we'll come in here and say we need some stuff for the booth that hasn't really sold on eBay. We'll put it over in the booth. Well, some things have been slipping through the cracks because we're coming in here and grabbing what, 20, 30 items at a time. Yeah, and we do have separate areas for each, you know, platform that we sell on, but it, things, things, things get and missed. we apologize from, I think it was Hill, Hilltop, Hilltop Collectibles, you did not buy some Dyson stuff, but we always give people options, like say, if even if we didn't know you, you're a subscriber and we do appreciate it being super cool about that, uh, but if we didn't know you, and you still bought something and we we're like, hey, it's lost, we'll usually double the value of like whatever it was say you bought some for 20 bucks we'll say hey pick anything under 40 bucks and then we'll give you the shipping back and it's just one of those things that we don't have to cancel the order we feel bad about it but then you get extra money to spend in the store plus free shipping so you pick some dice and stuff we do appreciate it but i one time watched a youtuber said he's never made a mistake he's never lost anything calling it out that's got to be a lot because there's no way you go through thousands and thousands and thousands of items unless you're only selling on one platform. But even then, mistakes happen. Everybody's a human. So don't beat yourself up too bad about it. We, we don't. We try yeah. for it to not to happen. Sure. And that's why it comes into these inventory systems that, um, that you actually implement, implement it when you first got here. Uh, before, I didn't have really that good. But somebody did ask about our inventory. It's very simple. We have bins numbered starting at the explosive and going down further. And they're clear bins so we can see through them. And then we use the custom skew thing mm -hmm. on eBay. So we'll put C4 and then if it has to be like skewed something else inside, maybe it look we're gonna wrap it up in bubble wrap, then we'll put like C4 number one. And then we'll go in C4, look for number one, pull it out, you're good to go. Golf clubs are basically the same, but for the golf clubs, I put the date and then like a, a letter afterwards. So today is, it would be 327, 24 because it's 2024 and then a if that's the first golf club I did then throughout the line if I'm doing 20 golf clubs or 27 golf clubs I'll get the Z uh, I didn't always start doing that But now it's kind of nice to see what golf clubs sell fast and then what golf clubs don't and then I get away from the ones that don't sell fast So that's a little trick that we do but other than that um, We actually have a lot more shoes than we've always had mm -hmm. but shoes do sell fairly well for us now We usually sell about five a week, which I think is pretty good. We have some high-end shoes that have been selling. But really, we have been struggling to get above 1,600 listings on eBay. A lot of people always ask also, how many listings do you have on eBay? How many do you list a day? How much do you think that you have to be cons I think that you have to li consistently list at least five times a day. Not five times a day, five times a week. And uh, we try to list 20, but we've kind of been falling off because whatnot takes a lot of our inventory to handle those shows. Um, so we've been doing about 10 a day. Today's a big listing day. We didn't go thrifting today, so we have different type of days. Thrifting days is thrifting, edit video, then list everything you thrifted if you can. Days to, to like today are pull orders early, go to the other storage unit, 
pick a bin out or even two bins as much as you think you can list in one day, go home and list everything you grab. And usually, that usually takes like seven to eight hours of just straight posting stuff on the eboo. So uh, that's not too shabby. I mean, we have some, our sales are pretty low, but it is also because we haven't been listing a lot. So one thing that I've noticed is very recently, like maybe five or six times actually this week, people have e uh, messaged us on eBay about our website, about other things that we're selling. The thing is, is on eBay, we can't redirect you to another sales site. It's against their policy. If they find that out, you'll get suspended. They have like, because it makes sense. They don't want to use their platform to get you to another platform. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you do want stuff, again, we can give you better deals on our website. It's www.thebeardthriftmachine.com. You have all your stuff on there. You're making some new pot charms. Mm -hmm. They've basically sold out uh, very quickly. Every time you put some up, at least they all sell up fairly quickly. And uh, we have our new merch on there. But messages via the, the website, go on there, or Facebook, we're trying to do Instagram. I've been honestly letting slide a little bit. I just haven't been on Instagram a lot. We've had a lot of things going on, uh, trying to get YouTube and content out. So, but if you do email us on eBay and we have like a weird comment back, like we cannot give that information or something like that, or something like, because we can't, we can't like tell you where to go via eBay because we don't want to suspend our eBay account. Yes. So we do appreciate everybody asking and stuff and being interested in the website. We've had Absolutely. over 3,000 visitors on that website in what, three weeks? Mm -hmm. That's like a thousand a week. That ain't too bad. And it's all because y'all like to support us and watch and everything. We can't do this without y'all. We're going to go over to the other uh, unit, pick some stuff up to sh not ship. We're going to pick some stuff up to list and then maybe some question and answer. Question and answer time. Although we didn't have a whole bunch of questions. So if y'all do have questions, remember, write them down below. We read all the comments. On this channel, a lot of times we don't actually comment back, uh, but we do read all the comments on this channel. So we have Cine2543. I went to the website to check out the plant jewelry, but I couldn't figure out where it was. Can you help me find that out? Yes. Uh, it depends if you're on the phone or you're on a computer. The website is, again, www.thebeardofthriftmachine.com. be linked in the, in the uh, comments. And then on the computer, it's on the left side under categories, right? On the computer, it's just, it's on the... It's just on the left side. Yes. And then it says Kayla's Creations. And you click on Kayla's Creations. And then that will be all of her handmade stuff. Mm -hmm. Again, they're like little pot charms. And somebody did ask if they could be used as a purse charm. Mm -hmm. What was your answer to that? I would not recommend it because they may, they have a higher chance of falling off. But I mean, you could clip it on a purse. You could. Just know that it might fall off. And if you're looking at it on the phone, you go to categories and then it'll give you a drop down menu and then you hit on Kayla's Creations. Bingo. So just keep clicking until you hit Kayla's <laughs> Creations and then you'll see like the little pot charms that she's making and uh, they go super fast. So well, we usually update people on Facebook mm -hmm. when they are like nukes. I think you're going to make what, like 10 today probably? Mm -hmm. And then we just drop 10 of them, but they usually sell out very, very quickly, like at least within 48 hours. And then she has to make some more. So Which is it, amazing. <laughs> yeah, because they take some time to make, yes, but they're they really, really cool. And uh, we sell them for eight dollars and fifty cents. Mm -hmm. uh, some up to uh, like ten bucks, depending on what it looks like. So mm -hmm. and how much time it took to make. So uh, that's that. And again, uh, the link is down in the comments. Linda Powell, not one one nine six. How is your booth coming? A video on it would be nice. When can you find the time? So today we found time to do the booth, uh, and I would say that it's it's pretty good. Again, we live in a very um, well, not so much now, but still very touristy town. So where that booth is located is about a less than a mile from the beach, mm -hmm. and the city that the booth is located in is majority, especially on the beach side, rental properties. They're not year-round properties, so. Uh, in the general area, it's mostly, honestly, rental prop. I mean, not, not like mostly, but there's a lot of rental properties. Let's just say I used to be the police in that city, and I, I don't remember the population, but it would four to five times when the season was in. Mm -hmm. So we were, you know, you have five times the amount of people in that town when the season's in. That's how many rental properties are in that season. So this is the slow period in there. But I think we're going to have a really fast period. I will say this. Our best sellers are our own merch. Mm -hmm. People come in. We, we love y'all. I tell you what, the love and support that's poured out through the booth. Y'all taking pictures. Remember, take your pictures. Send it to us. We'll post, post it on our Facebook. Our biggest sellers are our mugs, our koozies, our stickers, 
Uh, I think that's it, right? Yep, and we just stocked up our magnets that and we, we just, got. Yep, they're brand new to the booth, so and uh, so they're in there now. But also we're finding out that little things are selling a lot faster mm -hmm. uh, than like bigger expensive items. So a lot of our stuff are like now we've switched over to little items and you know we sell them like they're between five and ten dollars. And also again, like I said before, pack as much as you can inside the booth. Uh, like you know an easy visibility also mm -hmm. a lot like in the beginning we would put like a big picture here but it would block like stuff behind it once we move those pictures actually some of those items sold mm -hmm. so easy vi visibility easy things to see easy things to grab um, small items and pack as much as you possibly can in this in the surface area that you have now I know that our beard takes up a lot of space but that's where everybody's taking our picture <laughs> right that thing can't move if I could get a bigger one that was lit it like lit up or yeah. something like that, I would do it. But we just don't have power in the booth. But if I could get one, it would be like a big neon beard with the bearded thrift machine on it. Uh, but we don't have power, so we're not gonna spend the money on that. But the beard's gotta stay, but definitely like as many shelves as you can do. Movable shelves work because sometimes we have bigger items. We have to, that's why we like the pegboard shelves. Mm -hmm. They move around so you can move that stuff. But it's been an experience, it's fun. Mm -hmm. It takes a little bit more time than I thought, to be honest with you, right? Mm -hmm. Like picking the items, and I don't do any of it. I don't do any booth stuff. That is all, Kayla. You do 99% of it. I, my 1% is when I pick up a piece of brass bookend. So it actually sell really well they in there. Did. Yeah, they sell super fast, and then I'll put it in there. But like, this is my pick for the week or the month, and uh, so it, we do enjoy it. Yeah. We also got another uh, question about the 301 yard sale. We will not be attending the 301 yard sale. We would like to, but that's when VBS is, mm -hmm. uh, or getting ready for VBS around that time. So we will not be at that. But if you have any knowledge of any yard sales in like what is it, March? So April or May? Uh, tell us down below in the southeast. We'll travel to North Carolina, Virginia. Um, obviously South Carolina, Georgia, and upper Florida, northern Florida will travel that far mm -hmm. because we can't travel like two days to get to a yard sale because it does the, the cost isn't really there to do that. But tell us down below if there's any big yard sales in that area because we are really liking the bigger yard sales and then kind of coming home and editing all the video to these and it seems like everybody do, does like that too, mm -hmm. like going to a whole bunch of yard sales and experiencing different ones. So we do appreciate it. What we're going to do is uh, go home, list all this stuff. I would take you with me to list, but let's be honest, it ain't that fun to watch. It's just me taking pictures and watching YouTube and stuff and then cleaning stuff that needs to be cleaned. So it's not super fun. And then packing, you just put stuff in boxes. <laughs> And then you put a label on it and you ship it out. So we do appreciate all the love and support in our booth and also on the channel and on the website. We will practice the book. Ship it out.